Oh my god, this chump, I'm telling you. The best noob chump I have ever seen is probably Trundle. Like this chump, holy shit. I was three levels ahead of him. Had almost a full item. And he had just boots and a longsword, I think. And uh, Dorans. And with his ult, he was still able to deal me no problem. But you see, because I'm an experienced player, I am aware of this, so I know how to force his ultimate, retreat, wait until it ends, and then re-engage to finish him off. But even then, I have to say, I have to be very, very careful when I take trades, because, man, he does just so much damage. And he's so naturally tanky, I, do, I couldn't understand where that tankiness coming from. That's before even Ninja Tabbies. Um, well, they're called plated steel caps, but... That's a good noob champion. He reminds me a little bit of Varvik, but... Um, Varvik is... I would say Varvik is a little bit harder to play, because... Like, uh, Trundle has a bit of a get-out-of-the-jail card, where he does his... If you land your pillars right, he can escape gank quite easily. Whereas Varvik, he has very long... Uh, cooldown on his, uh, I don't know, he gets like angry or something and he starts running very fast. That thing has very, very long cooldown. So, and again, Trundle can, if, he, if you have your ult, you can legitimately just 1v2 easily. Like, probably a lot easier than Varvik. Varvik can also 1v2, but you see, like, the problem with Varvik, you can kind of burst him a little bit. He's not as tanky as Trundle. Because Varvik, he gets, um, he becomes extremely hard to kill on extremely low health. Do you know what I mean? Like, but he, he can still be bursted by th by stuff like Kraken Slayer proc. Do you know what I'm saying? Whereas Trundle, he's a lot more tankier, so it's a lot harder to make mistakes on champions like this. So I'm telling you, like this champ is amazing. This champ. You can pretty much split push with him and you will get very, very good results. Because you see, like, one of the problems is not a lot of people understand how just absolutely oppressively overpowered he is. Like, just think about it. Like, I'm legitimately a lot better than this guy. I had three levels ahead of him. Well, I, I can show it to you. One sec. Yeah, so here we go. Look, look at this moment, right? So I have three kills on him. A level advantage, 2,000 gold advantage, right? But I don't have my ult, and he does. I know that for a fact. So I kind of not expecting to beat him, but I kind of... Like, my take is I'm going to get him to very low HP, right? He's probably going to chunk me to here. I'm going to wait out his ult and then kill him, right? But, like, look at just how much bloody damage he does. Look, you see, like, just, he's so tanky. He's just so bloody tanky. Look, he ults, you see what I'm saying? And now he's just, like, healing as well. It's insane. I did not expect him to be just so old, so oppressively strong, you know? So now I need to wait out my ult naturally, and then I can kill him. But, I mean, holy shit. Just, just think about just how strong he is. Like, again, like, look, like, this is, like, 2,000 gold advantage. And he can still easily do it. I know I'm fighting his minion way, but you have to understand, dude, like, I'm, I'm Omega fed. Omega, relative to him. And he, like, I'm struggling to deal with him. Another pro another one was, um, I think it was somewhere here. Yeah, I barely killed him, I think. Barely, barely killed him. Yeah, like, two level advantage, and he can still kind of, like, uh, st still do stuff to you, you know? Because normally when you get so ahead against stuff like, let's say, I don't know, Darius, or Fiora, or Camille, it's, like, it's so unplayable for them. But this guy, you see, he's still effective. That's what I want, to, that's what I like to see. I want champions like this on my team, because even if they Omega feed, let's say, I don't know, we're playing against Riven top lane, on my side, I have Trundle. Even if he goes 0 5 in team fights, he's still gonna be this. You know what I'm saying? He's still gonna be like useful. Yeah, 
is at this moment. But you see, like, I'm just not doing that much damage. Because he's just so bloody tanky. And that's him without ult. If he was to ult, I'm going to die if he might. I think... No, I don't think it's this moment. Is it here? Yeah, so I have level full fury. I'm fighting in... How many creeps? One, two, three, four. Yeah, so look, you see four creeps. I have level advantage, full fury, item advantage, and I still barely win. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm fighting, well, I'm fighting in his creep wave, but I mean, four, four creeps and one level difference is not a big deal, to be honest with you. And I barely won, like, barely, barely won. And that's with stacked lethal tempo as well, I think, right? Let's see. Because I expected, I, I was, I was like, holy shit, this guy's trolling, he's fighting me. But you see, he's, I think he's a true domain as well, because normally... Oh, okay, so he has plating. So I have one stack lethal tempo, two stack lethal tempo, three... Okay, so... I'm fully stacked here. Is he fully stacked? Yeah, he's fully stacked as well. But why is it so close? Like, I don't get, like, on, on full fury... If this was Fiora... And she had, did not have repost or whatever that thing is, where she blocks it. It would be like this close, do you know what I mean? Whereas with him, like, I almost freaking died. Good champ, man. This is what I like to see, you see champs like this. Very, very reliable, very, very consistent champions. Shit, like Darius is like that, Warwick is like that, Jax is like that. Man, Jax is so oppressive. If you get him to late game, I mean, you could be like, I don't know, seven-year-old kid and you'll be still very, very good with him. Such a good champ. Relative to stuff like, I don't know, let's say, Lux or, I don't know, Severe. Do you know what I mean? Like, if Severe feeds, it's just like she's completely useless. Completely. Kind of like Trindemir to effect. But you see, the difference between Severe and Trindemir is that Se Trindemir has a toolkit that you can abuse if you're a good player... To get yourself to the place where you want to be, which is you are just like dominating the map, right? Severe, I don't think she has a kit like this, right? I mean, how do you really dominate with Severe? I mean, her, she doesn't specifically... Like, Draven has a kit like this. Draven, definitely. If you're good with him, oof, this champ is... Every time, every time I play with, with a Smurf who is playing um, like normals and he wants to just have high win rate, they always, always, always play Draven. All the time. And it's some kind of a bullshit support with a slow, like, Trash or uh, Nautilus. Always, always, always. And they just... Because the champ is good. Like, I mean, think about Draven. Holy shit, if you're good. Like, he, he's quite difficult to play. But, man, he does so much damage. And early game, and he scales into late game. He has acceleration. He can stop people from... Um, let's say Trindemir wants to jump on you. You can use your uh, W. What is that thing where he... Um, throws his axes and slows the people down that can actually stop a leap as well right I, i'm not sure if it works with vi ult but i think you can with trindemir if you try to spin on him he just does that and you just stop on one place basically and i think you can do it with Jax as well vi ult possibly so you see his his kit is designed to get fed and uh, kite and carry the game. Do you know what I mean? As opposed to Lux, who is like just like a single target burst champion. She can't really... Draven can take um, objectives, Lux cannot, you know. Again, like Trundle, he can take objectives, no problem. I'm telling you, this is by far the best noob champ I've seen. By far. I was thinking Garen is pretty good, but the problem with Garen is his damage is very, very uh, subjective, you know. And he's very reliant, like, if he goes damage, he, he does this Phantom Dancer build with, um, I don't remember that blue item they have, that slows people down. Gives attack speed as well. 
I don't remember it, what the name of it is. But I mean, like, he goes, he's kind of not that tanky, honestly. He's he's kind of tanky, but to Trindamir with items like Kraken Slayer and uh, Gooser, you can down him so quickly, it's insane. So the only time when he can, like, really do something is, like, you have to time your W, which is his shield. But again, like, it only lasts for, like, three seconds, and then, again, he has no escapes. Uh, his Q, he doesn't build cooldown, so his Q cooldown is like 6 seconds, or 5 or 6 seconds, so if he goes in, I mean, he's not coming out, you know, he's just not coming out. Whereas Trundle, man, very, very good champ. So there you go, that's a good champ, Trundle. Alright, take care.